So I forgot to put my microphone on for most of this video because I'm in a different setup and I got out of routine. <laughs> but um, I put it on at the end for my conclusions and <laughs> things. So if you have trouble hearing me, I'm sorry about that. And hopefully I won't have to retake this. <laughs> Hi there. Lord here. Today I am doing a collab video and I'm doing it with the Foxy 5. Now we've done a couple of collabs before and um, there's just five of us which is why it's called the Foxy 5 and in this group there is Anne Morrison and Valerie from Miss Mischief. She used to be Give Me Lips and More but she's changed her channel name now and Tracy the Beauty and the final beauty Debbie. So the five of us do regular collabs together. We are all kind of around about the same age and we all just love using makeup and colour and playing and so it's just it's just a fun thing to do. And today we are going to use makeup we have kind of forgotten about or haven't used much or maybe even haven't used at all and it's been sitting in our collection and we want to get it out and use it so that's what we're going to do and I am going to use the Endless Possibilities palette from Focal Law and I made a Focal Law order a while ago and I've used the other palettes that I bought but I hadn't actually used this one and um, I've had some trouble with the shimmer so it'll be interesting to see if this one works better. This is what it looks like and because of this little square down here it reminds me of something I'm sure you can guess what but it's a lot warmer and orangey and yellowy than that one <laughs> so I'm going to do a look with it and then I'm going to go through my collection and find foundation and blush and things that I haven't used in a while so what shall I do I'm going to go in with this first color called Hottie now I had swatched some of these because um, when I was looking for colors for um different palettes that i was um duping i have swatched a few of them but i haven't actually stuck this on my face yet so this is the first time on my eyes and that's way more pigmented than what i have been working with lately so <laughs> we're not much better i've been working on a palette lately that um i've had to build up a lot and so it's quite nice to actually dip your brush into something that actually has some pigment. <laughs> You'll see that video in a different day though, so I won't say anything more about that. <laughs> that, that was um, a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to go into um, Sandy Beach here, which is a very, very bright cream. I'm going to get cotton brush. And I want to just clean up the edge here. So have you got some palettes that you've bought and haven't used yet? And why do you buy palettes that you don't use? Why do I buy palettes that I don't use? So, I only just started um, buying stuff overseas but you're not getting them shipped to me this year and because I live in New Zealand I live far away and shipping costs quite a bit and to get free shipping you have to spend so much money so um, I often go for the free shipping so I'll I'm one of those people who would rather get another product than Pay for shipping and have nothing in return for it. <laughs> so, so I'll, I'll look around and see what else do I think I might be interested in. And so I end up getting a lot of palettes all at once because of that. And that's why I don't get around to using them all for a while because um, I get a whole lot all at once. <laughs> so, so that's why I do it. And um, and because I have so many palettes anyway, and I don't mind having lots of palettes. The, the palettes and the makeup, the um, eyeshadow in that is the most exciting part of makeup to me, so I'm fine with having more than I could possibly use. <laughs> so, um, I've cleaned that up and it's dry now, and because I've cleaned it up, it means I would have washed my eye primer off, so I'm going to put a bit more primer on. So I'm going to use my Milani eyeshadow primer, and um, if you're thinking my background looks different, it's because I'm back in the little tiny room where I paint at home 
because my daughter's home, so I had to move out of her bedroom. And um, the only reason why I don't leave it in here, apart from the fact that there's not much space in here, um, is because it gets really, really hot and sunny in here, so I don't really like keeping my makeup in here long term. And it um, messes with the lighting on the camera, so I have to play with the settings a lot to get the lighting to look natural. So we'll see how we go. It could get just too hot in here over the summer, but she's um, not staying that long because she's going back to school in early, early January. So. so you'll get a few films in this room. So I'm going to go in with I'm going to go in with turquoise here. So it is a matte turquoise. So I think you can guess what, that I'm doing some kind of halo eye because of the way I put my shadow on. And it's going to be very colourful. Then I'm going to go in with this pink here, which is called Barbie. It's not that bright. I can not be all It is pink. It's a light shimmery warm pink, which I like. And it does not go with what I'm wearing at all, but I don't care today. <laughs> I'm playing around with um, fluoride medications lately, and I'm really tired. And I don't know whether that's because of that or because of other things. But my energy levels are definitely suffering. I'm going to go back into a hot room and tidy up that bit there. Now if I wanted to make something that went with what I was wearing, I should have used Rusty. Because yeah. that would have gone with my clothes better. <laughs> Never mind. I just wanted to use some of those colours to see how they worked. And mm, I think I want a smaller brush. With this little brush, and I want to go in with the Mermaid Tears, which is this shimmery blue, and I'm going to put that on the aqua. I think hmm, I'm going to go in with Date Night, which is this beautiful dark blue, and see how that works. I'm going to do that on the other corner. Oh, that's, that's a nice colour. You just want to play with those colours. <laughs> These trimmers are working way better than the other focal palette that I was using. I'm actually going to try spraying the Barbie pink just to see if it makes any difference. It looks pretty good unsprayed. I can't really see much difference, can you? It looks pretty much the same to me. Sprayed or unsprayed. Might be a little bit more intense, but it's not hugely different. Inner corner, what do I want to do for my inner corner? So many possibilities in this endless possibilities palette. <laughs> I'm going to go in with Pixie Dust, which is this colour here. It's, it's kind of a very skin type colour, but it's a shimmer. Going to be very colourful today. Yeah. Do a bit of cleaning up on the Mars. So I just put a little bit of the colour pop in the punch under my eyes, just so that the next colour I put on there just has something to stick to. And I'm going to go in with this colour here. It's quite subtle. It's a really pretty colour. Definitely fit in with the peachy kind of that I was going for when I was duping the peach palette. I feel like I want something a bit darker in the other corner. I'm going to go... Hmm, which one am I going to go? Yeah, I'm going to go in with Ruby, which is 
this dark one here. I swear I'm not going to put all the colours on my eyes even though it feels like I am. <laughs> it's going a lot lighter over the April colour, which I would expect anyway. It looks very similar to this colour, but a shimmer, those two mixed together. I'm always fascinated by how colours mix together and what they do. I'm going to go in a bit with that dark blue I put on the outer corner, date night here. Because I lost some of it when I was putting it in my eyes. It was so beautiful, that colour. I don't know what the purple's like. It's a bit paler than I was expecting the purple. I can't see where I can put the purple without it looking weird, so I'm going to use it. The treasure. There's the colour there. That would have gone well with my jersey. <laughs> that is really pretty. No, I, and now I just want to play with all the other colours, but <laughs> yeah, never mind. It's a bit dusty, but that's okay. Right, so now I want to get a foundation out, and I know which foundation I want to use because I haven't used this for a while. I have been, because I've been doing project pans, and I've had different foundations in my project pans. One of my favourite foundations, which is the Rimmel. Lasting finish, 25 hour comfort foundations. I haven't actually um, used for ages because I've been using, I've been panning stuff. So I've got two because they didn't have my actual shape because um, very often in our drag store type places where you buy this kind of stuff, they don't have a huge range of colours, they don't have all their colour range, so I had to buy two so I can mix them together, which is annoying, but Okay. Because I don't like to mix in other things into it if I'm trying out a formula because then I don't know whether it's working the way it should because you've got other things in it. Did that make any sense? So I've just put my elf hydrating primer in my cocoa coming mist, so those aren't new things. <laughs> now I'm going to Go in with my Rimmel foundation, and I haven't used this in so long that I'm wondering if I still like it as much. And now mix, I'm mixing it on the back of my hand, but way too much. Yeah. <laughs> and I need a brush. <laughs> The other thing I haven't used for a while is um, any different concealers because I have been painting these ones all year. <laughs> so I'm going to go in and get my Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline and try that because I haven't used it for so long. <laughs> As I said, I've been doing the other one all year to get some colour out. dried out a bit because we said on the it. Now because I've been panning different powders I haven't been using some of my other ones so what shall I go in with? I haven't used the Master Fix baking and brightening loose powder for a long time and this is also a Maybelline product and it's kind of a, a slightly kind of yellowy cast to it and I need a powder brush here we go just make sure my concealer is not creasing let's get my face a bit of a powder 
Let's just get rid of it. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Corner Copia. This is a bronzer, but it's not a bronzer. <laughs> because. Does that look like a bronzer for me? No, it doesn't. So I'm going to use this like a finishing kind of powder. In the center of my face here. Now, bronzer. Have I got a bronzer that I haven't used for a while? I'll just have a good look. Okay, for my blush, bronzer, and highlight, I'm going to use this. This is the Maybelline Master Contour. Why are there so many Maybelline products? The ones I haven't used for a while. Oops, a question. <laughs> so, it looks like this. So, I'm going to go in with the contour. So, it's not, not a bronzer, it's a contour. So, I still have to choose a bronzer. Oh, that's really weird. Tone. Compared to the bronzer I have been using, it goes quite well with the pink eyeshadow I've got on it. Yeah, I brought this because I'd actually brought this palette for my daughter, I think I've mentioned this before. And um, the highlighter in here, it's a very natural highlighter and it looks so nice on here that I decided I wanted to buy it for myself as well. So, I'll go in with the highlighter. It's a very natural highlighter. But even when I do it with my finger, it's a very natural highlighter. I don't even know if you have to see that at all on camera. It's a very natural looking highlighter. And I want the blush, so I'll use the blush in the middle. It's good that it's pink. Which is a nice colour. Just gives you that bit of a rosy look. I'm getting bits of blue all over me. So that blue's a really nice colour, but it seems to be quite flaky. Maybe it needs a glitch of glue. And I think I will spray my face. And while that's still damp, I'm going to go back in with the highlighter because the highlighter is such a natural looking highlighter. Yeah, I think I need to put a bit more on with a smaller, more precise brush. So if you like a natural highlighter, you might like this one. I don't usually go this natural, so <laughs> that's why I'm holding it up. It doesn't build up to anything really blingy, but I can see it. Just to make sure I don't leave a stroke, I'm just going to go back into the brush and just fluff that edge out a little bit. I, I'm going to put some eyeliner on. I don't have like black eyeliner and things that I don't use often. And have um, any new brow products. I've already done my brows because I only have three brow products that I use all the time. So I'm just, I, I don't have any extras of those that I don't use. So I will finish up the eyes and then I'll be back to talk about lipstick. So here's the lipstick that I used. And I had to use a um, lip pencil with that one, which is just a CoverGirl lip pencil. I have no idea what colour this is. Garnet red, it's called. And um, it went really well with the lipstick. And the lipstick's a nice kind of autumn colour, I think. And it's spring here, so it's not autumn yet. But <laughs> I think that will be a colour that I will use more in the colder weather. What did I think of all the products that I used? So, foundation. I don't have my microphone on. Okay, I've done all that without my microphone on, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me or whether I'm going to have to refilm. Because <laughs> my microphone was quite a long way away from me. So what did I think of my products? Um, the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. Um, 
I still like it. It is full coverage for me. This is about as full coverage as I get. So if you don't like a full coverage foundation, you won't like this one. And I'm not even sure if they sell it anymore, but um, I still like it and I'll be quite happy to carry on using it. Probably not in the middle of summer because as we get into the warmer weather, I'll want something lighter. But it's, it's definitely something that I will want to go back and use. Um, the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Um, it is creasing a bit. It looks a bit heavier than what I'm used to because I've been using this one like all year and this one is a, a lighter looking concealer under my eyes so I'm not sure if I like it as much as I used to. My powders, so my Master Fix Baking and Brightening Powder and my Corner Copia from Wet n Wild. They look nice, they're not not too cakey or anything, they look nice on, on me, so I'll be happy reusing that. My Master Contour from Maybelline. This is in the light to medium. I think the contour and the blush will be really nice in autumn, winter. That more red toned contour, I think, looks nice in the winter on me. Not too much in the summer because as I get more tanned, um, my skin gets warmer and so then it kind of stands out a bit too much. The um, highlighter, it is pretty, but it's very, very subtle. It's a bit too subtle for me. I think if I was going for a very natural look, then that would be good. But I like a bit more bling in my highlighter, so... Won't stop me from using it. I'll still, I, I'll still use it quite happily, but I'll probably just add more highlighter on. And I didn't use anything different for a mascara. Uh, this is just a Max Factor Masterpiece Max High Volume and Definition Mascara in a little sample because I didn't want to open another one because I have got one that I haven't used yet, but um, I don't want to open anything else because I want to use this one up before I open something new. And that was all I used that was new. So it was good to go in and revisit some of my products that are actually favourites that I haven't used for ages because I've been panning and um, use a palette that I hadn't used partly because of what I said about um, when I buy, I want to buy the free shipping so I end up buying a few things at a time but partly also because the last time I used a Focal or palette it, um, the shimmers weren't working well so I kept putting off using this one so I'm glad I had a go with the Endless Possibilities one because it um, worked a lot better than the other one that I used. So it just goes to show you can't judge a brand by one palette alone. You've got to try more than one palette to see if the formula varies. So thank you to the Foxy Five. So Debbie and Tracy and Anne and Barry for collabing with me yet again. I had lots of fun and Please go and check out all their channels. I'll put all their links below. They are all well worth watching and they all love colour and playing with makeup and none of us are teenagers, <laughs> spring chickens. We um, have life behind us and plenty of life in front of us as well. So you might get some different perspective on life, which could be interesting. <laughs> so um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.